What is the fifth dimension in physics? If you've ever wondered what lies beyond the three dimensions we're familiar with, length, width, and height, and the fourth dimension of time, you're about to enter a fascinating realm. Let's explore the concept of the fifth dimension in physics. In physics, a dimension is essentially the minimum number of coordinates needed to specify a point in space. For example, to locate a point on a line, you need one coordinate. For a surface, you need two. And for a solid object, you need three. Extending this logic, a five-dimensional space requires five coordinates. The idea of a fifth dimension was first introduced by Theodor Kaluza, a German mathematician, and Oskar Klein, a Swedish physicist in the early 20th century. They developed the Kaluza-Klein theory, which aimed to unify two of the fundamental forces of nature, gravity and electromagnetism. This theory proposed that these forces could be united if we consider a five-dimensional space. Imagine a world where gravity and electromagnetism are not separate forces, but different manifestations of the same underlying force. In this five-dimensional space, the fifth dimension is not something we can see or directly interact with. According to Klein, this dimension is rolled up into a tiny compact loop, much too small to be observed directly. This loop is incredibly small, on the order of, of 10 to the 33 centimeters. But why do scientists believe in this extra dimension? The main reason is to explain how the fundamental forces of nature can be unified. In our everyday experience, gravity and electromagnetism seem unrelated, but the fifth dimension provides a framework to connect them. This connection is crucial because it helps in developing a more comprehensive theory of the universe. Now, you might be wondering how we can visualize a five-dimensional space. It's not easy, but we can use a step-by-step -step approach. Start with a single point, which represents the zeroth dimension. To move to the first dimension, you need two points connected by a line. For the second dimension, you have four points forming a square. Doubling the points again gives you eight points, forming a cube in the third dimension. Continuing this pattern, you double the points to get to the fourth dimension, and then again to reach the fifth dimension, resulting in a structure with 32 points. The Large Hadron Collider, LHC, has provided a way to search for indirect evidence of the fifth dimension. When subatomic particles collide at incredibly high energies, new particles are produced, including the hypothetical graviton. Scientists believe that the graviton could escape from our four-dimensional space and leak into a five-dimensional bulk, providing indirect evidence for the existence of this extra dimension. In summary, the fifth dimension in physics is a theoretical concept that helps unify fundamental forces and provides a new way to understand the structure of our universe. While it's not directly observable, the idea has been supported by various theories and experimental efforts, making it a fascinating area of ongoing research.